everyone and welcome to the eighth episode of TD 101. In this episode, we will be taught how to divide a line in a number of equal parts. Stay tuned. Okay, so the line that we are going to bisect today will measure 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And we will bisect this line in five equal parts. Now, let's go ahead and draw the line. Remember, when drawing lines in technical drawing, we firstly draw a construction line. Now, you are going to estimate this construction line. In drawing this, it should be longer than the line that you intend to draw. In this exercise, we are going to draw a line that is 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. So it has to be longer. Once we have drawn this construction line i hope you are seeing it you are going to go ahead and place the first point of the line at a convenient spot on the paper we are going to call this point a the next point from a will be measured remember when measuring a line the first point will be zero. So ensure that the, the mark, the zero mark on the set square is perfectly in line with the set square. Now, here is 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, ensure that the set square is also in line with the line, the construction line that you drew before. At exactly the 10 centimeter mark or the, uh, the 100 millimeter mark, you are going to place the dot, the second dot for the line. Now, this point will be called point B. The next step in this line drawing exercise will be to use an outline to connect points A and B. In other words, you're going to brighten the line from A to B. Please ensure that you don't brighten beyond the dots. The dots represent the starting point and the end point of the line. Now you have your line, which is a hundred millimeters, right? We are going to now bisect this line in five equal parts. Now, when naming lines in technical drawing, the lines are named based on their starting point and ending point. This line can now be called line AB. Okay, so let's divide the line. I'm going to take my set square. Now, for this exercise, you can use any set square to do what I'm about to do. From point A, I am going to draw a line, a diagonal line. I'm going to set it at a convenient angle. Please note, at this point, I am not using the set square with the t square i'm using it independently normally when we use our set squares we take we use it with the t square but in this particular exercise i will refrain from doing so as it is not necessary after i've drawn this construction line i am going to take my compass i'm going to insert the pencil 
please note when inserting a pencil in a compass that it should be a short pencil as a long pencil will impede your work. Another thing before tightening the pencil in the compass, please ensure that the compass point and the pencil point is in line. Another trick that you can use is to turn the pencil until you find the point where it is tightest. Normally with these kinds of pencils, sometimes the, this type of compass doesn't grip the pencil as properly as it can. Now, if you have your bow compass, which is a more expensive compass, which is the preferred compass for technical drawing, that compass consists of less issues. So what I'm explaining right now will be of no concern to you. Now that I've tightened my pencil in my compass, I'm going to now open the compass to a convenient radius. Now, I use the word radius because compasses are used to draw circles or arcs and the distance that you use you, that you open the compass at will represent the radius of the circle or the arc now this can be the length or a little longer than your fingertip in this exercise it can be the length of your fingernails or a little longer right remember you're estimating you don't have to measure at this point now I am going to place the compass point on point A. After doing so, I am going to swing an arc, cutting the line, the diagonal line that, uh, that I've drawn. Ensure that you are using construction lines as you are doing this. For the left-handed persons, you are going to enjoy this part. The right-handed persons may not. Alternatively, you can switch to your right hand to do this. I'm just using my left hand so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to, after I've cut the first point, I'm going to place the compass point at this new point that I've created, which is the point where the arc that I've just swung is intersecting the construction line that I've created, the diagonal line. I'm going to, without shifting the compass, please note you cannot shift the compass, you cannot open it any wider for this exercise once you have set it. I'm going to place the compass point on the new point that I've created and I am going to swing another point. I'm going to cut another point. Now I have another point. I am going to continue this process. This is my point two. Let me label it. Point one. Point two. At point two, I'm going to place my compass once more, swinging another arc with the same radius of the compass to get point three. Now we are going all the way to point five because we are dividing this line in five equal parts now one more point to go after i've got my last point i am going to connect point five to point b using my set square again i don't need my t square for this exercise for this part of the exercise ensure that you use a construction line to do so okay time for the hard part not to scare you but this part will be a bit tricky when doing it for the first time for this aspect I'm going to need another set square, in this case, a 45 degree set square. Now, please be reminded, you can start with either set squares. So I could have done all of this using a 45 degree set square. 
or the 60-30 set square. At this point, I'm going to need both. I'm going to position the set square in one of the longer edges in line with the line that I've just drawn. Connect the line from 5 to B, that line. I'm going to, once I've made that in line, I am going to take the other set square, bracing on the first set square, I'm going to put the second set square in line with the edge of the first set square. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to firmly press on the second set square so that the first set square can slide. Similar to how it would slide on the T square. Okay, once you have done that, you are going to slide the set square to point four, ensuring that there's no gap between the set squares. Then I'm going to draw a construction line from point four to where it meets line AB. I'm going to slide again, point three, to line AB, point two, to line AB, and point one to line AB. Once I've connected the last point, then I am through. If you notice, line AB has now been divided in five equal parts. And to prove this, I am going to measure from A to the first point. And you should get 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters. The line is 10 millimeters. When you divide a line that is measuring 10 millimeters in five equal parts, each division should measure 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters. And there you have it. This is how to divide a line in a number of equal parts. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the page, and share the knowledge. Have a good day.